What is up YouTube? It's your boy Judd. In today's video, I'm giving you some guys some gameplay. I think I go 58 and 8 on domination on the map breach. It's a very good gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy, but let's get into the video. Today we are ranting. We are ranting about Black Ops 3 and it's just just something that gets under my skin. It grinds in my gears and it annoys the crap out of me. It just it just makes it Ugh, I hate it. I don't know how to explain it, guys. But some of you guys are like, what are you talking about, Judd? What are you talking about? What is irritating you? Because you never, you never get irritated at stuff like this in your videos. And I am talking about two perks. Well, there's actually three. But there's two perks in particular that just irritates me and drives me nuts in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And you guys probably know what it is. You guys are probably guessing. You guys are sitting there. You're like, yeah, I know what he's talking about. And you guys probably do know. Six cents. Let's start out with six cents. Now, there's two, kind of three of them. But we're going to start out with six cents. Okay? You're wearing six cents. You know, you can see on the mini map, there's somebody to your left. There's somebody to your right. There's someone in front. Whatever. I mean, why do you add this perk? Why should you be able to look at the mini map and tell exactly where someone is? Whatever happened to just listening, knowing the knowing the flow of the map, and knowing where people would be at like that. Just having this instinct. Instead of just Call of Duty catering to bad players, saying, Hey, you know what? There's going to be somebody on your left as soon as you come through this door. That's going to be on your left. And, you know, you're going to have to pre-fire that and shoot them because you're a noob. And that's going to be the way you get your kill is by using six cents. Now... I mean, you're looking at it you're like, Judd, if it really irritates you that much, if it really irritates you that much, why don't you wear hardwire? Because hardwire may, is a counter to it. You're wrong. Hardwire is not a counter to two six cents. You're like, yes, it is. It says it. No, it makes less of an impact. Now, you're telling me I can wear hardwire, okay, and then... People cannot detect me until they get closer. Okay, what happens to that little noob sitting in the corner with an Argus or a Brecky or a Haymaker or the KRM sitting in there just waiting for a six cents to go off just so he can pop his shotgun as soon as you come around that corner. Just sitting in. Now you just gave corner campers, just gave corner campers another tool to use to their advantage. You done gave them another perk to help them. Okay, I mean, come on, Call of Duty. What are you thinking here? Now, why did we have to go down this road? I mean, six cents? Is it necessary? I mean, I have had people tell me, well, they did it. Because not everybody can afford a headset. Okay, you know what? I understand everybody cannot spend $200 on a headset. I understand that. But, I have played with earbuds before. I mean, I myself, I use Astro A40s. Very good headset. Highly recommend them. They're awesome. I can hear about anything going on. I can pinpoint exactly where people's at. I understand that. I've also wore headphones and not not missed a beat playing Call of Duty. I mean, headphones, you can go buy a set of headphones at the store for like $2. two dollars. Go to the gas station, you find them for like $2. Are they going to be the best quality? No. But can you play Call of Duty on them? Yes, you can. You just plug them right into your controller and you have no problem I mean, you can do that on xbox you can do that on playstation both consoles you can plug earbuds into your controller and have game volume play through it so i don't think that's a really good excuse i mean yeah you can't spend two hundred dollars you can go spend two dollars and get a pair of headphones and you know still be able to do a pretty good job on soundhorn i mean are you gonna be able to do as good as someone with astro 840s no you're not but you know what too bad you, you you can still have very good gameplay. I've met people who... I remember Minfiles. This man played with his TV sound. Like, he didn't even use headsets or headphones. He was still probably one of the best Advanced Warfare players I've seen. So, I mean, I don't think that's a good excuse. Okay, so you have this corner camper. He's sitting out there. He's w watching his Sixth Sense. And he's like, okay, I can't wait for you to come to this door so I can blow your brains out with a KRM. Okay, but then you don't come through the door. You don't come through the door, and he doesn't. He's like, oh, crap. I'm not going to get that kill. So you know what he does? Luckily, he has his tracker on. He has tracker. So, yeah, that's, that's the next part, guys. Tracker. And you know what? Once again, hardware is supposed to protect you from that, but it only reduces your digital imprint. Like, what is this? Give me a counter. You know? Come on. 
I mean, is this really, really something that we have to go down? I mean, why can we not have a counter to it? So you're running away, and he's following you every step of the way with his shotgun because he knows exactly where you're going. And I mean, why? Why? I mean, it seems like it seems like that has to be the way people are gonna play these days, catering to the bad players of Call of Duty. And you know what? If you're bad at the game, I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, you can still have fun with the game. From when you're looking from active or Call of Duty's. Uh, standpoint they're like okay we're going to cater to the bad players so it's easier on them so they'll have more fun playing the game well i was terrible at modern warfare 2 terrible i tell you to this day modern warfare 2 is my favorite call of duty ever favorite call of duty ever i was so bad at it i mean i couldn't i mean i was actually pretty decent at sniping on that game but i mean i couldn't really couldn't play that game to save my life i was terrible ghost as well i mean ghost i was so bad like, I used to run around with my friends. We was playing Search and Rescue. This They didn't have a Search and Destroy in Ghost at the time. Um, so we're playing Search and Rescue. And I'm just running around, staying alive, getting tagged. Because I couldn't get a kill. And I was still having a good time. I mean, maybe... I mean, I loved getting a kill. But, I mean, I was still having a good time. Call of Duty didn't lose a cell for me for not having a good time. So, I mean, why do we have to cater to the bad players? I didn't get catered to. I just grinded the game out and got better. Jesus. I mean, then there's a third perk. I mean, this isn't Black Ops 3. This has been in multiple Call of Duties. I don't even know what all Call of Duties has been in, but awareness. I mean, but the thing about awareness, the reason why I can I can stand awareness is there's a counter to it. Dead Silence is a counter, 100% counter to awareness. 100%. And Blast Suppressor. Both of them counters awareness completely. I mean... Is that would that be too hard to put in to implement for like a six cents or for a tracker? Like, yo, you wear hardware, they don't see you at all. I mean, that would be fantastic. Cause I mean, I don't want to have to waste a perk first off to counter these things. I mean, I really don't. But I mean, I mean, I don't even run. I don't even run it because it doesn't counter it. Cause I think, I think engine or uh, hardware is a perk too, and I always run fast hands. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and run that. So, I mean, this, this, these are just things that just annoy the crap out of me. I mean, am I wrong? I mean, is this something that you guys enjoy? Do you guys like having, you know, whatever in? You like having six cents? You like having tracker? I mean, am, am I the only one that feels this way? Or does it seem like, like Call of Duty is catering to the bad players? I mean... I don't know guys you guys let me know y'all's opinion in the in the comments below you guys don't forget to leave without leaving a like and don't get me wrong guys i do enjoy black ops 3 i do enjoy it. it's just them little things like that just irritate me and they just get under my skin it makes me want to pull out my fingernails sometimes but yeah guys hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay don't forget to leave a like comment whatever um you think about you know whatever perk i mean maybe there's another perk out there you guys don't like you guys let me know and you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already it's your boy judd i'm out of here guys peace